Brinson the tying run at second Smith at first and that's lined to short and that one's caught by Rosario double play and the ball game is over and the Mets hang on to win two bullets at the shortstop and the second one results in a game ending double play as Brinson got caught off the bag fell down trying to get back had Justin Wilson able to breathe a big sigh of relief as the Mets nearly let a five run lead get away but they hang on to win it six to five to take the first two games of this series. Well I tell you the Marlins have always been a team that have played the Mets tough and they came back. Oh my gosh. Justin Wilson earns the save in staggering fashion. And Broxton lines a base hit. Conforto around third. The Mets grab the lead. McNeil the third. Keon Broxton puts the Mets in front. Six to five, New York. First RBI is a New York Met for Keon Broxton, and it's a big one to put the Mets back in the lead. Boy, oh boy. Hanging breaking ball. Right there. A good swing. And going the opposite field with two strikes. Mets are in business. And the Nationals beleaguered bullpen against a team on full rest. Cano at first and nobody out. 2 2 coming to Alonzo. And he drives one to deep left. Forget that. That is way, way out of here. A monstrous home run off the bat of Pete Alonzo to give the Mets the lead. An absolute majestic bomb. And Pete Alonzo has struck. Ninth pitch of the at bat coming to Rajay. And he lights one deep left field. Hit it toward the wall. That ball is out of here. Rajay Davis with a three run homer in his first at bat as a Met. Six to one, New York. Rajay Davis pretending that Sean Doolittle is a Waldus Chapman, channeling his inner World Series home run. His first career pinch hit home run in his first at bat as a Met. One two coming. And he drives one deep left center field. That goes Robles. It's out of here. He's going to beat Ramos around the bases. The prodigal son returns a three run bomb for Carlos Gomez and the Mets lead it six to four. Well, we talked about it before the game, the depth of the bench, the guys that aren't expected to come through coming through. Wow. McNeil is one for five tonight at a base in the sixth inning. Met fans making some noise in Chicago. And McNeil gets one in the air to right center field. Back goes Garcia to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here! Jeff McNeil with a two-run homer to put the Mets in front of the 11th. Home run number 11 for McNeil and Jeff to honor his new puppy. <laughs> it's a two-run homer, and the Mets lead 4-2 in the 11th. And Alonzo cracks one deep toward the left field corner. It's out of here. Pete Alonzo gives the Mets the lead. A laser beam. Five to four, New York. Scooter and the big man bust 
the city in half, and the Mets lead it. Davis, Conforto, and Alonzo all homering in the seventh inning. Might have a chance to bat in an enormous situation in a moment. Two and one to Frazier. And Todd oh. breaks one. Deep left field. Down the line. That ball is out of here. Out of here. Todd Frazier ties the game. It's been a night for the New York New Jersey contingent and Todd Frazier with the Mets biggest hit of the season thus far a game tying three run homer and it's six to six in the night. Do a little up to twenty five pitches in this inning. He's already blown the save now trying to get it to the tenth. Two on, two out, two and two to Conforto. And he drives one. Deep right field. Back goes Eaton. It's over his head. And the Mets win the ball game. Michael Conforto with his first career walk-off hit. And the Mets pull it out in the bottom of the ninth, seven to six. <laughs> Stripped in center field. What an inning. What a game. What a night. What a streak. The Mets have won 14 of 15 and the most like, unlikely one of all. Conforto with a walk off hit after Frazier's tying home run and the Mets overcome the Nats and win it seven to six. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming to J.D. Davis. And J.D. drives one toward the left field corner, and the Mets win it! Conforto comes home with a winning run! J.D. Davis with a walk-off hit, and the Mets rally for two in the bottom of the tenth, and they win it four to three! Two two coming to Alonzo. And Pete crashes one deep right center field. That's headed toward the wall. It's out of here. Number 50. Pete Alonzo deep into the night. Only the second rookie in Major League history to hit 50 home runs in a season. And Pete hit one out of sight into the Ohio night. Down and away fastball. He hit it up, uh, Gary, up in that uh, steamboat. That is a monster shot for number 50. The first Met ever to hit 50 home runs in a season. Only the second rookie to hit 50, joining Aaron Judge. Watch where this pitch is. Look at him go get it. That ball's down and away, and not a full follow through on the swing and he hits it up there in that steamboat 437 feet look where it lands holy cow 
feel like Harry Carey, but my goodness, that's a bomb. <laughs> And Dom cracks one deep right center back toward the wall. It's out of here. Dom Smith back from the injured list. His first at bat in two months, and he hits a walk off home run in the season's final game. <laughs> oh, how great is this? The Never Say Die Mets finish the season on an incredible note. Oh, no. Oh, my word. After his running mate, Pete Alonzo made history last night. Dom Smith back with some personal history. His first career walk-off hit in his first at bat in more than two months. A 3-1 homer in the bottom of the 11th to win the season's final game. Incredible against a left-hander you haven't played in a couple months. And you hit a three-run bomb to win the game. And that is just what these Mets have been about. I mean, this is just phenomenal. It's a fastball, I believe, upstairs, middle. Yes, sir.